Hi, my name is Lisa Cheek. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist and certified lymphedema therapist with N2 Physical Therapy in Denver, Colorado. So we've been talking about what's normal and what's not normal when it comes to the pelvic floor. So we spoke a little bit about bladder function. Now let's talk about bowel function. So there's a really wide range of what's considered normal for bowel function. Um, normal bowel movements can occur anywhere from three times a day to three times a week. So it's very, it's very broad range and it varies quite a bit person to person. Um, anything outside of that range is going to be considered abnormal. Um, I do see a lot of patients who have had issues with bowel emptying their entire lives and have gotten into the range of having a bowel movement maybe once or twice a week. So that is what um, we would ca categorize as abnormal bowel emptying. And on the converse, um, emptying your bowel more than three times a day is going to be classified as bowel frequency. Um, the other thing to think about is bowel incontinence. Now we talked about with the bladder, it's never normal to leak urine when you don't mean to. It's also never normal to um, leak fecal matter when you don't mean to. And that's a tough thing for people to talk about because it can be very embarrassing and it can really impact a lot of um, areas of your life. If somebody is dealing with issues of bowel incontinence, um, this person might be embarrassed to go out, uh, do their daily activities, interact with friends and family, because this is a really, it can be a very embarrassing issue and a very difficult issue for patients to seek help for. Um, so, in conclusion, normal bowel function should be somewhere in the range of three times a day to three times a week. Um, consistency of bowel movements matters as well. Um, Google the Bristol stool chart. <laughs> There's type 1 through, I believe, type 6. Type 3 through type 5 are considered normal bowel movements. And that's and, it. Um, I have a question yes. for you, Lisa. So mm -hmm. again, is this does this follow kind of the same template mm -hmm. of that you can work with somebody on these issues and it could, could take eight weeks potentially more or less to kind of reset and make progress on such an issue? You know it's interesting because bowel and bladder function, especially bowels, they want to do the same thing every single day. So I do find that bowel function, while these issues can take a long time to build up, I mean like I said some people have these issues from childhood, so they can take a little bit longer to kind of unwind some of the things that are going on. But if we get the bowel movements into a good ritual, a good habit, they want to work at the same time in the same way every single day. So a lot of patients find relief pretty quickly just by implementing some really simple strategies. Um, for example, drinking prune juice before you go to bed, having a hot beverage first thing in the morning, um, using good position when having a bowel movement, Google the Squatty Potty. Um, it's a device that will allow you to put your knees above your hips and get into a good position to keep the pelvic floor relaxed. Um, so using these simple strategies can bring patients a lot of relief. Um, if the issue is pelvic floor weakness, leading to issues of incontinence, poor control of bowel movements, those will take around six to eight weeks to um, really start to see the muscles change um, we're looking for the muscle fibers to actually get bigger. It's called hypertrophy. But prior to that six to eight week, week mark, you will get better motor control of the pelvic floor. There's going to be more activity from the nerves into the muscles of the pelvic floor, and you can gain control within three to four weeks with diligent exercise. So again, it's variable, and it depends on what the cause of the bowel dysfunction is. But using simple strategies and doing the same thing at the same time every day can produce some really good results really quickly.